question deals with the labor market. And the question is, what happens to the targeted real wage, the nominal wage, and the feasible wage if there's a decrease in unemployment in our model? So let's assume the economy is at this point, which is the natural rate of unemployment, and there's a decline in unemployment. Now, what will the impact be on the targeted real wage? To know that, you use the wage setting curve, which tells you if unemployment decreases, then there's an increase in the real wage demands of labor. The reason they can demand higher real wages or target a higher real wage is because their bargaining position has increased. Now, <clears throat> how does it impact on the nominal wage? Well, in order to achieve this targeted real wage, they do that by increasing their nominal wage demands because labor can bargain for a nominal wage to achieve this real wage, which in this case now the targeted real wage is higher than the feasible real wage or the price-setting real wage. Now, this brings us to what is the impact of this decrease in unemployment on the feasible real wage. Now, according to your function here, <clears throat> the price-setting wage is not a function of the level of unemployment. So regardless of the level of unemployment, the feasible real wage stays the same. 